Oh. Mean body shot in an excellent fight while it lasted. So I'm going to go ahead and crown him. Uh, Bam Rodriguez can sweep the 100 in uh 18 pound division. Um, excuse me, 115. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say he can be undisputed. Now we're going to talk about the fight. So Juan Francisco Estrada is on a two plus year layoff coming into this fight. His last fight, now remember, I'm watching this live real time. We're going to get you a replay of um, his last fight was against uh, Chuck Latito back in 2022. So nearly, it's not a two-year layoff, but year and a half layoff. Uh, 34 years old. As you can see, he's got a lot of miles on him. He was dropped earlier in the fight in round number four. Uh, he was getting dominated up until he dropped Bam Rodriguez in round number six. And they started going to war after that. But the crisper, cleaner, harder puncher was definitely Bam Rodriguez. He just was walking through until he got dropped, whatever Juan Francisco Estrada was hitting him with. And the body shots were open. I'm waiting for them to show the replay, by the way. But excellent fight while it lasted. By the way, it is 128 p.m. East, excuse me, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday morning. The zone's got to get better than this. Better with this. Let's go watch the. Uh, look right there. Left hook right there. Getting that pivot. Look at how he shifts to his right. And look, you can't see it from that angle, but putting down. And it curved up. That's one of the worst ones. I had one of those. I got, I got hit with one of those before. Look, it's going to curve. Look, right there. Curve up. And it was really two of them. Remember when Oscar De La Hoya got hit by Bernard Hopkins? He was rolling around, screaming at the top of his lungs. It's not the same. Oscar was in agony. I mean, Estrada was in a, a, a pain there, too. But... To look at the division, we're waiting for them to read the particulars. To look at the division, I'm going to go ahead and say he can beat Pedro Gravera. Remember, Gravera fought uh, Andrew Maloney on the uh, undercard of Loma Cambosos. And Maloney thought that he won. I remember, he had one arm in that fight, if I, if I remember correctly. Ioka is going to be taking on Fernando Martinez. That is when? That is in a few weeks. Excuse me, next weekend. Next week. July the 7th. It's July, June the 30th now. That's going to be for the IBF and WBO. He can beat both Fernando Martinez and Ioka. Um, Or they just gave him his belt. But they haven't announced the particulars yet. Anyway, um, Kosi Tanaka lost to Ioka. And who is he going to be fighting? He's on July 20th taking on Jonathan Rodriguez. And remember, the Japanese have a lot of belts. I believe they're leading um, uh, with the most belts of, of all the countries. Especially in those lower divisions where they rule. Well, let's listen and take your time out. Like the video, subscribe. We're going to talk some more after. He's got a uh, He's got a hell of a uh, Resume I mean look who he got Rung Visai Caldras Rung Visai Sonny Edwards Estrada who beat Chocolatito Hell of a resume he beat two guys that beat Chocolatito. 
Let's listen in. Competition keeps getting better and somehow, some way, so do you. What did you think of that performance? And it was a tough fight. I got dropped for the first time. That was crazy. I just got caught with the punch. The next thing you know, I was on the floor. But yeah, he got a little I reckless. That. Not, like, I know it's bad, but I've always pictured myself like in a fight like this and to be in, a, in the ring with Gato, a legend, and to take his belt, it, just, it makes it that much more better. This guy is a legend, one of the greatest little weight fighters of all time. But you had it going on him early on. What was working for you in the first half of the fight? Just keeping my distance. Um, he didn't really, he didn't know what to do when I was on the outside, and Robert kept telling me that. So I just stuck to the game plan, and it worked out. I got a little careless, and that's what, that's why I got dropped. You had him hurt early on, knocked him down in the early rounds. You surprised he was still coming forward after that? No, nah, not really. I know he's a tough fighter. He has more knockouts than I have fights, so that says a lot itself. Like I said, it's an honor to share the ring with Gaio, take his belts. It's on to bigger things from here. All right, so you mentioned the knockdown, fifth round of this fight. It looks like you're in total control up to that point. And then he catches you. What happened in that sequence? I don't even know. I just got caught with the punch. The next thing you know, I was on the floor. I always wonder what it felt like, and now I know, so I don't want it to happen again. We saw you look over at your corner immediately after you got knocked down. What was going through your mind as you got up? Oh, it was a flash knockdown. I knew that right away because, I mean, right after I got up, I was already conscious again. So I just lapped it off and took, uh, went back to the game plan. You know, the final round of this fight, you landed a great body shot, and it looked like you knew right away he wasn't getting up from that. Yeah, I did. I, did, I, I got him with a good body shot. I saw the way he was rolling on the floor. I, I knew that was it. Could you tell as soon as it landed that it was going to be lights out? Uh, to be honest, I thought he was going to get back up, so I was already mentally prepared to go on to the next round. But, I mean, he stayed down, and that was it. You've talked a lot about how Gallo's had things to say about your performances against Carlos Quadras and Teresa Katso Rungvisai. Did that motivate you coming into the ring tonight? Yeah, I definitely had a chip on my shoulder, wanted to prove him wrong, that I'm the real deal. I was, I've been saying it all week that I was going to show him tonight, and I did. Carlos Quadras, Teresa Katso Rungvisai, and now Juan Francisco Estrada. Is it at all surreal to you to be beating these guys that you grew up watching? Honestly, it is. Just to share the ring with them, to be on the same you know, poster as them, it's just crazy to look at, but here I am taking over the division. You knew coming into this fight that Estrada has a rematch clause. You can do this again in the fall. If he doesn't exercise that rematch, what do you want to do next? I want the winner of Ioka Martinez. Okay. Is it important to you to become undisputed in this weight class? Definitely. I, that, that's something that I've seen other fighters do, and just to see them with all the belts, it just, it's motivating. But I have to ask you before I let you go, I've said this all week long to people, how far away are we from Bam Rodriguez against Noe in a way. We're only two weight oh my classes God. apart, and that looks like one of the biggest fights that can be made in one of these weight classes. I know people want that, but let's be real right now. It's a fantasy fight. I got to work my way up. He's at 122 right now. I'm barely at 115, so I got business to handle up here at, at this weight class. It's a fantasy fight, but it just got a little bit closer tonight, Bam. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right, I'm going to turn to Eddie Hearn. Eddie. You've seen this guy do some special things over the last... All right, we got to listen to Eddie before I give my thoughts on Inouye. Now he does it to Juan Francisco Estrada. What were you thinking when he landed that final shot? It was just breathtaking. I want to say thank you to the legend, El Gallo Estrada. I want to say thank you to the pound-for-pound pound star, Oops. Jesse Bam Rodriguez. I want to say thank you to Phoenix, Arizona, because that was exactly what we dreamed of here tonight. Incredible, breathtaking. You know, the heart of El Gallo after being dominated to come back with a knockdown. But I'm sorry, this young man is 24 years of age. When you mention Crawford, when you mention Usyk, when you mention Inoue in the pound for pound list, you better say those three special letters. Bam, right? Bam Rodriguez is a pound for pound star, unquestionably. And he's gonna go and dominate the super flyweight division. El Gallo has that rematch clause. I don't know about you, I'd love to see the fight again. We'll go away, we'll look at it, but what a night in Phoenix. And, and you saw a legend against, in my opinion, one of the future stars of the sport. You know, Gallo does have that rematch clause. If he doesn't exercise, you just heard Bam say, I want the unification winner that's coming up next month. How easy or difficult do you think that fight would be to make? Yeah, look, hopefully everyone wants to prove they're the best in the division. Bam does. You know, he's been up, down, he's a two-division, two-time a unified world champion as well. Now he's Ring Magazine champion as well. El Gallo has the right to the rematch. We're ready to do that if he wants to exercise it. If not, we go after the other champions. But he's 24 years of age.
The future is unbelievably bright and uh, they both deserve incredible respect. That was exactly what makes this sport so beautiful. You believe the future for Bam Rodriguez includes Nui in a way? In a, in a fantasy world, yes. He's 24. He's going to end up at 122 at some point. We'll see when that is. Gallo Estrada here. We'll do this very quickly, Gallo. Gallo. Another tremendous effort from you tonight. I wonder if he's going to take the rematch. In your mind. Sí, otro esfuerzo enorme esta noche de ti. ¿Qué es lo que que te ha ido mal esta noche al final? Entonces, ¿en qué fallé? Lo vamos a arreglar en la revancha. I know the mistake that I made in there, and I want the rematch. What mistakes go. did you make in there? ¿Qué errores exactamente cometiste? Bueno, entrenar en el boxeo un poco más. Hice una gran preparación, pero siento que me faltó más condición física. Yes, so what I need to do a bit more in, in the next fight is to box a little bit more. You know, we had really good preparation in there, but that's something that I'd put right in the second fight. You faced some big punchers in your career. When he hit you with that body shot, have you ever been hit by someone like that? Has enfrentado a muchos pegadores en tu carrera boxística. Cuando recibiste este golpe al cuerpo, había sentido un golpe así tan fuerte en tu carrera? Eh, bueno, no desde que era boxeador amateur, que me pegaron un gancho exactamente ahí, me tumbaron cuando era amateur. Pero ahorita, como te comento, sé que, que fallé en algo y lo vamos a arreglar. Yeah, no, I've not felt a punch like that until my amateur days where I was hit with a left hook to the body. It was exactly the same as that. But what I want to do, I've said I've made errors in this fight and I want to put them right in the second one. Do you think you underestimated him a little bit? ¿Crees que lo habías subestimado un poquito en esta pelea? No, no, yo sabía que es un gran peleador. Eh. Como te comento, yo fallé y lo vamos a arreglar de nuevo, lo te lo digo. No, he's a great fighter, you know, I didn't underestimate him. I just, as I said, I've made mistakes tonight, and that's what happened. So you're saying right now, you'll be back, rematch with Bam Rodriguez. Estás diciendo que, que vas a volver, quieres la revancha con Bam Rodriguez, ¿estás seguro? Sí, no, sí, sin duda, eh, está el contrato, la revancha, y vamos a entrenar duro para ganar esta pelea. No, of course, that's in the contract, so we'll take that rematch, and there's no doubt we'll win that rematch. Thank you, Gallo. Look forward to seeing you again. Con ganas de verte próximo. Claro, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a toda la gente por venir. Un abrazo. Vamos. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chris. So, I don't have any issues with the uh, uh, rematch. It was competitive enough. And also, um, Gallo's coming off of a, a long layoff. So, you know, I don't have any issues with it. Um, and it's supposed to happen in the fall. So, you know, hopefully nobody gets injured and they go right forward. But yes, if it doesn't happen, then uh, the winner of the next week's fight between Ioka and uh, Martinez, which I'm going to be covering here on the channel, is the way to go. Because he already has the WBC and the Ring Magazine. And if he doesn't fight for a unification um, uh or Estrada, because the rematch, and I'm sure the WBC will let it go through, then he has to fight Pedro Guevara, Guevara, who's the WBC interim, and the mandatory. So let me break it down for you. Bam is looking like it's going to be Estrada in the rematch. Then um, it's looking like it's possibly going to be um, a unification uh, fight he's going to pursue. But it's more likely that we'll see... Ioka Martinez winner take on Tanaka Rodriguez winner. Wait a minute. Have I seen him? Who's the seen him fight before? In Cajas. I knew I knew him from somewhere. I covered this fight. What card was this? I covered this fight. Boots Limping Yet. Yeah, I covered that fight. Stanionis versus Delorme. All right, I remember now. Well, anyway, um, because they're all, all three of these guys are all on the same side of the street and include Martinez. They're all on that top rank uh, taking promotions. Uh, you know, top ranking Japanese are very close. So I can see this happening and it, it makes more sense that we'll see these Guys unify, and then Bam will fight Estrada. The winner of that will fight their mandatory in Gravera. And then we can see maybe a unification, an undisputed, sometime in 
a year, a year, year and a half, give or take. You know, and by the way, I think that um, Ioka would beat Fernando Martinez. I'm not, you know, I think so. I think so. I'm not too confident, but I think so. Um, and then he would beat Tanaka because Tanaka already uh, uh, lost to him, gave him his only defeat. And then, you know, uh, we would have Ioka with the WBO, IBF, and WBA titles. And then Bam would have the WBC and the Ring Magazine. By the way, here are the punch stats. So thanks for bearing with me as I'm going, um, as, I'm, as I've took some time to really, really think about whether I want to do boxing seriously or not. So I guess you can say, you know, expect, you know, for some changes to be coming. You know, I've had a lot of things going on over the last uh, uh, several years that finally came to an end. So the last year I've been really living and traveling and, you know, all that stuff. So really good to be back in the field. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, wait, before I talk, before I leave, let's talk about the undercard. Um, Sonny Edwards won. Uh, nasty gash on his head over uh, uh, Adria uh, Curiel. I forgot how to pronounce his name. Uh, Ramla Ali lost her belt. I don't know what she's doing. Seems like she needs to figure out if she wants to be a model or a boxer. And right now, I don't know how much she's getting paid during the modeling thing. But from what I've seen, she doesn't really have a large following. I just think that she's lost in between what she's want to do. Kind of like, you know, like when a, when a boxer wants to try to be a rapper like Adrian Brown. It's like you got to pick one or the other, man. You know, because she'll have like fights where she looks like, okay, she can be something. And then she'll have fights like this where it's like okay what are you doing and this girl is a former i've covered her before she's a former champion a former unified champion no former champion before she fought him in serrano i've covered her several times so this is a big step up also for ramla ali as well and ramla ali i believe she's 33 this girl's 26 34 but in women's boxing, that is nowhere near old. You know, women, they be fighting. They, this That's not old in boxing. So she still got time, and it's only her second loss. You know, so let's let's see what she does. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Oh, and also, you got to give her props, too, because she avenged her loss and, and outboxed a girl after getting brutally KO'd. I'm talking about some she was in meme for a little while, and she took her like a champ. So shout out to her. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Teach you controversy with 5 360